hello there everyone and welcome back to Mordheim. So the chosen few are still powering on through the city of Mordheim. And as per some suggestions, I have decided to name the characters after people who I play with online. And some of them you probably recognize, like McCabe. Anyways, so first off, uh, I changed around a bit of stuff on my character, so I made him a blue and yellow, which are the Swedish colors, but also the colors of Nordland. And I played Nordland in Call of Warhammer for Medieval. So, fitting. Lord John comes from there. One thing I noticed here when you go into customization, you can edit a biography, so I can type up stuff about him. I'm a veteran from Nordland who did so and so and what and what. Interesting stuff that you can add about your character. Uh, completely useless, but it adds to the flavor. Anyways, let's move on. So, here we go. McCabe. I'm not sure he actually spells it that way. If he spells it McCabe, McCabe I'm not sure. But, yeah, McCabe. Uh, you probably know about him if you've seen the Total War stuff, I've collaborated with him and he usually turns up for Verdun and uh, whatnot and the line battles and stuff. So you probably know McCabe. And he, I set him up as the young blood. Um, he also took part in my Warhammer Fantasy roleplay campaign, which we never got around to finish. But he's in there as well and... You know, I probably should have done him like it. <laughs> if you could do him in red, white, and blue. This is so American! America! But uh, I decided to go for. I think his character in that is from uh, Middenheim or Middenland. So, uh, blue and white, or uh, just blue would be that area. But I, you can't really get completely blue, so I got blue and white. Right, who's next? Rotislav, another character from the, um, the what's it called? The Warmer Fancy roleplay campaign that I did. Uh, he was playing as a Telean mercenary crossbowman. Now, because of the colors, I'm not entirely sure what colors a Telean soldier would wear, but I think it would probably be more fancy than this. Now, for this I've just given him grey and such, but I'll probably spice him up later on to have all sorts of colors being a uh, Italian mercenary type deal. Uh, and also, maybe I should give him a crossbow, but for now I don't have a crossbow, so he has have, have to do with this hunting rifle. Right. Next up, Ranskull, another character from the uh, fancy roleplay campaign. Uh, he's dressed here in the Reichland colors, white and red. Uh, also because he's Danish. So it, it fits both way there, just like with my character, blue and yellow. So there's, there's a double fit there as well. And I believe his character was going to be a warrior priest. And I don't think you can have warrior priests in. Or maybe you can. Um, but I, I made him up sort of close enough. He has a Warhammer shield and he has a bit of armor here and there on him. Plus, as you'd see, he's got gray hair because of the <laughs> people I play with, uh, I believe that he's the oldest. Except for the guy that I'm hoping to actually face off with on this in multiplayer. He's actually older, but otherwise, we usually, it's an inside joke to make a joke about Ranskull because he's old even though he's just a few years older than me uh, so yes now I didn't really know who to put here because we have Skull and Maxo which are also part but Maxo is a wizard and so far I have not been able to recruit a wizard so that will come later and Skull we usually we call him Skulldor because he's sort of Orc-ish, so once I've been able to get an Orc, which you can later on, um, I'll have to name that one Skull, 
So I was unsure who to pick here, but um, it's another player that I play a lot with. Ah, I did not notice there was actually a face there when you see the protection on his knee. Um, but another person that uh, we play line battles and Napoleonic Wars with, which is Le, and not sure what color I would put on him, but I remember that I think if I'm not entirely mistaken, the, m the colors of Russia, because he's r from Russia, uh, in Medieval 2, sort of the, the unedited one, uh, Russia has the colors blue and red, so that's why I gave him blue and red. Uh, and that's about it. And, I don't know, he looks Russian, I guess. So I put him in as the... because I couldn't really think of anyone at this point. Plus, there will, there will be more places. There will be more places in the warband. Let's see. We still have two more there. Uh, I guess these are reserves. Or maybe these are the impressive ones. There's a, you, sh you should be able to have one that's an impressive, I think. Let's see. Can we see the, um, the progression of maybe the veteran system? Does that show? No, not really. Here maybe hired swordsmen, two warriors, henchmen. Um. Uh, anyways, I I uh, since I played th the early, if you go back to see the old older versions of it, um, when you get sort of a random group that you can't edit or anything, you get uh, I remember you get a you get a wizard or a warlock. He might be called actually, uh, wizard warlock. It he deals with magic. And then you also get one impressive character, which is an orc or a, you know, giant rat or whatever. Anyways, I think... Were we ready to strike out? I think we were. We need to add some more of these stones. I think it was this one that we were going for. This one over here, Vision of Dread, Weird Stone Rush. And I think it was that one we were going for. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna not, even though I can, I think I'll hold off with recruiting another character for the party. Um, so let's go ahead, go on without it. It's still uh, an even chance in this match here, in this matchup. Yes. A ghastly, uh, a ghastly manifestation frighten your warband and scatter them into the ruins. They soon recover from their fright, but before the warriors can regroup, an enemy warband arrives and deploys near their wagon. Now we have faced off with... Um, what have we faced off with? We've faced off another human warband and we've also faced off with Sisters of Sigmar. It would be nice then to either see uh, Chaos Cultist turn up or Skaven. Actually, we, di we did fight Skaven, didn't we? Yes, how did I forget that? It was a touch and go, or was that another one? Because I did some test, test playing beforehand with the group um, something Meridius Mercenaries or something. I can't remember for sure. I remember, we, yeah, we did fight. Or was that the one I got knocked down? Hmm. No, I, 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 I yeah, we fought this. Did we fight this game? Or was that in my other? Anyways, it would be interesting, at least. I feel like fighting the. I actually, we haven't fight the cultist, or I haven't done in any, so. It would be nice to meet them here, maybe. And since they had a ghastly manifestation, it's clearly some chaotic stuff going on. So we'll... Uh, we'll maybe run into that. Other than that... Um, what else could there be... that I'm thinking of? Nothing. Maybe I should... Um, maybe I shouldn't... I should just skip this loading. This loading takes quite a l long time to load in. A lot of stuff to load. Nobles. Oh, nobles' quarters. 
There should be good loot then. As it says as well, there's a lot of stones and there's a lot of other thingamajiggies. So there should be plenty of opportunity to find some nice stuff in these quarters. But as far as I know, I haven't really gone into it, you know, to look what's good. Sword, two-handed sword, club or uh, war hammer and stuff. So I haven't really looked into how to specialize characters in the way that I want this guy to be. He should be um, able to take a lot of beating and stay as a defensive sort of character. And I want this one to be more of like... You know, this one should deal a lot of damage, and this one should be this, and this one should be that. And normally, uh, that's not what I do either. I sort of go more on, like, what I feel at the moment. So I never really, like, plan out my characters. I, I don't really like to play it that way. Right. We're off. And... Let's see. Anything inclination of what what the enemy are? No. Aha! Yes, it is the cultists. Le is the first one up. And he's standing here next to this big house. Let's see. There's nothing inside the house. We've got a nasty cultist over here. We want to collect stones. The stones are the most important parts. So we want to go down here, gather these, and gather these. And then we have possibility of gather these. But further than that, I don't think we're, we dare go. So in last case, I think we're going to move to protect the archer. The archer can prob should probably stay there. Or maybe I should move the archer up here to a location where you can overview the situation just where that character is standing, where Ron Skull is standing. But for now, we'll move Led down to a hold here or a hold in this area. We got the word stone over there, you can see it off a bit through the rubble there. So I think we'll move and we'll try. If they come this way, we'll be ready for them in an ambush stance. So leg goes into ambush stance. Now it's my turn, Lord John Marches. I have some stones right here, and then I can retreat back, and we've got McCabe. Maybe, in, is he inside the house? On the second floor. But there are stones up here, which I can move up to. Should be somewhere near that cart. Shouldn't it did I run the wrong way? Yes, I did. I did run the wrong way. It's not this way the stones are. The stones are this way. No, they're not. Actually, wait, wait, wait. They're that way. I was confused. There they are. Very nice. Someone said I should uh, take as many clusters as possible. And I should uh, try to disregard, or not try to disregard, but if I if I have a choice, I should ob obviously take the heavier stones rather than the fragments and the other parts. Also, I was a bit worried that dealing with the stones I might spawn its tail or something. Uh, but it seems as though... No. Um, let's see. We want to interact gather some more stones. I was worried that you might spawn a tail or something. Uh, a ghastly rat tail or something. Or some uh, chaotic stuff would happen to you. But it seems as though it only slightly affects your character in for the turn. So it uh, say it takes away a bit of my abilities uh, just for the turn. But other than that, um, it's not that dangerous. I think we'll move. Might be dangerous to move this way, but I think it is the best one in this option rather than to run around the house. It's a rather large house. Nice house. Let's see, can we identify it? Is it Sigmar? It's got a huge hammer. 
my guess it is my guessing is that it is supposed to be Sigmar. Right, so we're trying to run the group with the rest of the band. Run Skull's turn. How's the pro this? I would like to go inside and check out the house, but there's nothing inside, so there's no point really in going inside. So Ron Skull should move down here and rendezvous with these guys, so we can push up through the streets later on. Ron Skull away! Ah, he he didn't make it as far as Le, but he had a longer way to run. Or maybe it's because he's old. <laughs> Uh, no? Okay. Ha! McCabe! Hi's in the haunted house! How will he make it out of here? So right now he's looking... You know what? There's a door there, right? Right on his left. And he's out! Yay! Haunted house. Oh, I can... Wait, you can cl Ah, you can climb there! In the dead leaves. Go into ambush stance, why not? And now, we can have. We put, probably should put him up there as in an overwatch stance. Because he's got. From here, he got quite a good view of the area which we're trying to target. And. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, he's got, got good aim from up there. Otherwise, it was a waste of time. But he can actually... Oh, he can shoot from here. He's got a 93% chance of hitting him. Right, let's shoot the bastard. Boom, 30. That's nice. Ha-ha! Now it's the enemy's turn. Did I do all of my characters? I think I did. The enemy's turn. I heard something on the... heard something... Oh wait, did you see that? A trap was sprung over there. <gasps> Enemy archer! It's gonna be a duel about uh, with those characters. Now, it's back to the enemy. They don't... D does the enemy only have three characters? Oh! They got a wizard! Or a uh, warlock, or whatever it's called. Haha! Run, Skull charges! Let's see. No! Well, he delivered more damage than the enemy gave him. Are there only three enemies? We got this guy, which is. What does it say what he is, actually? This is the leader, I think. Leader because of the crown, and this is the hero. But I'm not entirely sure about the symbols, what they mean. Now we could have Le charge up and take on this. Ah oh yes, was this the archer? I believe it was. He could charge him. You know, we have McCabe coming up there to help out Ranskull. So he, Ranskull should be fine, plus we've already shot the enemy guy. So he's almost he's almost half dead. So Le will charge ahead to secure the stones. He could pick up some. Actually, I don't think I have enough to charge. Oh no! Right in the foot. No, look at that! Straight through the foot, right through the heel. No, he is not. He doesn't have enough to charge. Well then. He can pick up some uh, stones then. Let's pick up the big one. Yes. The cluster. Very nice. Can he pick up even more maybe? Yes he can. And then we'll pick up the bigger one. The shard. And then we pick up the fragments. And then that will be... Oh, do you see that Skaven trap right there? I have to be... We have to be... Keep a watchful eye out for those traps. 
Oh, that warp effect actually damaged him. Well, we found out something new, didn't we? So Le has lost. Um, what would that be? Blah 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 blah. blah. Something something the dark side. You know, he leader versus leader. Do you think I can take this one on? He's got more health and he's got he's got a better chance or be he deals more damage when he hits this one. They have compacted. We are there's five of us against three of them and they have the same sort of level of strength as us. Maybe I should be more reserved than to charge into battle with him and stay here sort of covered by the uh, covered by the uh, the gunner so I'll stay here and I'll go into ambush stance now it's Ronskull's turn to attack Ooh. Good damage there. Parry or dodge? He will parry. Because he's got the same chance for both. Now McCabe comes in and kill steals. Bloody kill stealer. Slash! And the guy's out of action. Not only that, but McCabe will loot the body as well. So not only. Under <laughs> Rook's underweight and token. What is that supposed to be? Not sure. First I'll add the token as tooth. For some reason. McCabe stole the stuff. He did not let Ron skull. Oh, you know what? We forgot the stones down there. But at the same time, we still have to save Le. So, Ron skull can go down and pick up some stones. McCabe heads, heads up. And he charges for the archer. And he goes into ambush stance, just in case the archer would be foolish enough to venture closer. Reloaded and ready. I think we will fire on this guy because Lord John is in need of aid. The archer is more and less doomed. 89%. Boom! 41! Ooh, we not only took him dead we s ooh that's great stuff great stuff indeed dodge stands not necessary should I do perception just because why not I don't know what the harm it would make success but I'm not entirely sure what I guess if there's an enemy sort of hiding or something, maybe you'll spot them then. The enemy is not doing well. One of the guys... Oh, I think another one has actually turned up. Let's see. <gasps> maybe the perception... Yes, there's someone behind the archer. No! McCabe, right through the wrist. Ah, oh, he fires another one. Wait, did that one go through the wrist as well? How many shots can he make? The leader is up again. He does weird magics. Weapon of destruction. And now he charges ahead. He bypasses Lord John. And he goes for McCabe. Which misses. Should we gather more stones? Or should we go in and help McCabe? Stones or McCabe? Well, McCabe is more important, isn't he, than the stones? Or should I go up and take that guy on? I'll e I'll be exposed. Leb will be exposed there if he goes in and attacks him. So it's better, I guess, to pile on this guy. But we'll do it cleverly. So we come in from this side. Maybe I should actually charge in here. Hopefully that will. Uh, uh, reduce the chance of the archer to hit Le. And he comes in the back of this guy. 28. 
Nice. And then he goes... He's got a little bit of a better chance to parry. 1% chance more. And now Lord John comes in. And now since we got this guy pretty much under control, he's got two guys to face. Lord John will do what leaders do best. No, not him. Not him. We're charging this guy. Yes. Orgeloth. Ah, uh, miss. But I still have another try at this. Miss again? This guy's good dodging. But I'm pretty good at parrying. Ron Skull, do we need him up there? No. We need more stones, don't we? Oh, that was a trap. You can pick up... Ooh, there's quite a lot of stuff here. You know, it won't take too long to gather uh, all the good stuff from this area. We get loads of stones if we manage to succeed with this mission. Yes! Very good. Oh, there's a trap just over there. Very nasty looking. Right, he's filled the brim with stones. Now he tries to make it over there. Oh, look at that nasty thing. That's one hell of a arrow. And the corpse is still burning. Squire's Curse. That was only if he switched weapon and I don't think this guy will. Ah. Ooh! McCabe goes in and he does a critical to stun the bastard. Ah, oh, he's got 11 life left. McCabe is not the one to show mercy to Bloody chaotic bastards! It would be cool there if he would just chop off his head. I think McCabe has some room in his inventory. We can steal the staff. That might be turn out useful later. McCabe's got two arrows going into the same part of the wrist. It's incredible. But McCabe is as stout as ever. Maybe I should go down and pick up even more stones. Did Lev pick up any stones? Because then we could... Since Lev has been in battle, he can go back pick up some of the stones. Um, and then we can continue forward. With these two. There's a bit of... There's a stone there and there's... Maybe two down there. We'll march up and we'll... Uh oh, you can see the guy down there. Ooh, he looks heavily armored. I guess we'd go into dodge stance here with McCabe. Prepare for the enemy. It might be time to actually move closer because at this rate... We might not be able to actually shoot the guy once he comes close there. So I think we'll move down. Rotten Slav takes and jumps. Failure! Oh. My little toe. He, ah, oh, he moves into Overwatch here. Very unlikely that he'll shoot anything, but why not? Just stand there and watch the, uh, the wall crumble. Slowly. He disengages. Where, where is he going? He went around and then he shot me in the back of the head. Jesus Christ, look at that nasty looking fella. Such a ballsy move. But you know what? I I, I feel victory, so I want, I want more stones. Oh, Le already has stones, I forgot that. Well, I guess the archer could then get some of the stones. I seem to forget a lot, don't I? 
Oh, ha ha! Le managed to get in a hit where I was unable to. Ah, oh, look at that! <laughs> the tip of the arrow comes out in between my eyes. Wow. Well then, you. Look at this nasty fellow. I'm surprised I'm still standing up with that kind of wound. I'm not. I'm not delivering a lot of damage. Maybe I should look into what weapon my car my character carries to have something better. McCabe. Let's see which character here is is the one that really needs McCabe's. Oh no, the archer was pretty nasty, but I think Lord John is the one that needs some aid. Oh. They're pretty good at dodging these bastards. No, nope, Harry, he's better at dodge. Going to dodge stance. Now, ha ha! Fifty percent chance. He had a even. He had a lot higher up there. 50%, but I guess it's because he's engaged with Le over there. So it's a case of being either helping out Le or being a cheeky bastard running and taking the word stones. But I, c I carried, st I took so much, so it might be as well that I just cheat this bastard. Aim. Ah, there we go. 70% chance. Okay, boom. Very nice. Can you reload? No. It's very unlikely that the guy will come here, but just in case, we'll go into dodge stance. Did I give this character a secondary weapon? Not sure. Ron Skull comes in, and I think we'll pile on the archer shot. Seems like a good plan. Charge! <laughs> 28 damage, very nice. But we're out of points, so we can't go into any stands to protect ourselves. What does Orgloth do? Ha! -ha he Ah, he tried to <laughs> He tried to flee. <laughs> and they Wahey! Well, victory! We got a lot of loot. We got a lot of stuff. Decisive victory. Very well. Very well indeed. Most valuable players was Lord John and Orgoloth on the enemy team. Right. Let's go back and see what we get. That was a very good game, I think. So far, we've already ha we have had good games. There's none we b where we've gone like because I had in the test ones. Where I got like knocked out and oh, I got a light wound. Apparently. Um where I got guy then got his eyes knocked out, or one of his eyes. A warrior suffered a light flesh wound. Good amount of experience. Good amount of advancements. See McCabe. Good experience there as well. Ooh, lots of good advancement. Now we think he has even more skill points, but uh, I really want to wait until I get like the payment of the wagon maybe to spend them because it cost a hundred gold to put each point in. Which one was that? The le? Yeah, he did good. Did good, Ranskol. Not so well, but uh, I didn't put him in that much action either. And then Rostislav. Same as Ron's goal. He wasn't in the he wasn't in the main fight as it were in the same way. Items acquired. Ooh, lots of gold. Staff, dagger, swords, good stuff all around. I think we might be able to. Uh, to send the stones away, can't we? Shh. 
should be able, I think. Yes! He needs a hundred. But no, let's send everything. Yes. Send the shipment. Confirm. Wee! Very good. Shipment in transit to next shipment will arrive in two days. Right, do, is that when we get the gold or is that later or how does it actually work? Pay for treatment? Yes. Pay for upkeep? Yes. We have 150. Should be enough maybe to um, put one point here and there on my... or the skills. Let's see, where do we have these skills? Skills, oh yeah, I'm injured. But McCabe has skills. McCabe has skills. He's got four unspent points. Which could go into passive skills or active skills. Mighty charge. Charge an enemy target for me to charge. Just, yes, I remember that one. So we have a lot of different skills we can look into here. Although I, I think I like the passive ones more just because I don't have to actually uh, actually use them. Or like, you know what I mean anyways. But yeah. Um, actually, we can wait until my, my guy uh, comes around again. And that should be roughly the same time that the... Um, the what's it called? The wagon arrives or whatever. Yes, I have recovered. The shipment requested you sent to Baron One Lista have been received and you have been rewarded. The shipment is sent received you're being paid in full. Nice, look at that. We got six hundred and fifty nine gold. That's plenty to spend the points on. Um but I'll probably do that off camera, I think, like, go into a closer analysis of what I think my character needs and such. Um, can go closer, actually, and take a look. So what we, what we have in store are for active ones usually I guess you have to enable them and you can see the cost there it costs three but I wonder if like mighty charge is just added on so I get when I charge I just add a mighty charge so say so instead of having a co uh, I wonder if that costs extra then so if I have six points say I have six points in total of the sort of battle points and I have six of them and this adds on to the three already that it takes for charge or two three or if it adds on like it normally it's two now it's three I'm not sure but I do think we need to make sure that Lord John actually deals more damage and we need in basically a better sword for him I think we're a better weapon because right now the sword does 17 to 25 in melee I can't remember what he said I probably adds on a bit with my skill but we're looking for something like maybe a great sword but then <laughs> it deals a lot of damage but I can't have the shield and I'm not sure my character has a lot of parry not a lot of dodge so shield is almost a good uh, or almost a requirement hmm interesting accuracy critical hit chance or maybe weapon skill increase melee resistance hit chance plus two increase parry chance plus four that's pretty good actually we'll probably take that and then for this um let's 
strength, increase melee damage by 3%, bypass the target parry. I think we'll actually go for toughness to increase wounds, but also the resistance of poisons ranged and critical. But yeah, I'll have to check out what sort of skills I will put in. We did pick up some light armor. Maybe I should give that to some of the characters. Le, what should he get? He probably needs weapon skill. Ballistic is terrible, but he doesn't really need it. So I think we'll go for weapon skill. And then strength, maybe, to deal a bit more damage. And Ron Skull has one point. Strength to deal more damage, toughness to be able to use with take strength. Um, dodge, melee, actually resistance to range because he's most likely been hit by ranged. And he's gonna need to climb maybe. Maybe, yeah, dodge chance. So agility, so he's be able to climb away from the enemies. Alertness, increase the initiative, ranged resistance, chance to perception. Moral... then alertness is probably best. To keep him on his toes and to be able to climb and such on buildings and whatnot. McCabe. Uh, melee resistant hit chance. He's already got a lot of hit chance, maybe we should increase this then accuracy so he's able to uh, do a lot more critical hits because he's already got a good pretty good hit chance with that weapon maybe McCabe should get a two-handed sword should look into the difference in between the the sword and the halberd but let's go for I think it's better to have the probably better to have the hit chance than to be able to make <laughs> morale does he need morale how much morale does he have he has 10 morale value to contributes to the total pool so if I increase his morale basically we can take a lot more people a lot of more of our troops can go down in battle without us actually routing if we increase leadership Alertness gives him initiative, which might also be good if you come up against some that has really good initiative. Right now, we haven't really been in a troubled situation to um, um, sort of when we've uh, been close to routing. But we might come to that, but I think. Uh, does McCabe dodge or does he. Let's go for... Um, so, yeah. Um, leadership. Intelligence. Alertness. Alertness. Actually, we forgot to do this. Power. Melee damage. He does already a lot of damage. He can do agility. So he's able to dodge people more readily and yeah then we get went through everyone but I think I'll go into a closer look to take a look at what actual skills I do but yeah this is the end of this video so I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you for the next one bye